Good morning and what's going on? Um, I just want to give a big shout out to Elder Donald L. French. Um, he's a good friend of mine on Facebook and he wants me to talk to you guys about music. The reason why he chose me probably is because I have my own radio show where I play a lot of Christian hip hop and I elevate and I uplift the name of Jesus. So with that being said, I, I want to talk to you about music if I can, just for just for a moment, just for a few minutes. So we all know that Satan used to be an angel, right? And if you read your word, then you know that he used to be over the worship and the praise that used to go to God, right? Which, of course, made him envious, made him jealous, blah, 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 blah. So, since he was over music in heaven, it's only right that he comes to earth, which is when God kicked him out of heaven, when he comes to earth, and the only thing he know the only thing he knows how to do is orchestrate music. So this is where hip hop comes in. This is where, um, like secular music comes in, and like it doesn't even have to always be about secular music. But even in country music, they talk about drinking, they talk about having babies and taking long rides and all this and all that. And then you have heavy metal, which is just all kind of demonic so this is why you have to protect your ears and your eyes because you never know through media how the devil is going to talk to you or send a message to you this is why Christian hip-hop to me is so important because it's a form of worship and that's what God expects us to do he wants us to worship him in spirit and in truth in order for us to worship him in spirit and truth we have to develop a relationship with him first and foremost we have to believe that jesus is the son of god and that he died on the cross and he bled for our sins and he rose again and then we take it a step further and we have to worship him we have to worship jesus because of who he is because of what he's done now of course you may not have a talent for music me personally i can't sing a lick to save my life but what i do know is that rap is a form of worship um, music um, can music in the, is a universal language and without music life is a mistake so music speaks to everybody and th and that is also why it's important for you to be careful about what you listen to about who you talk to about your problems and about what you watch on the screens I don't care if you're watching Facebook lives I don't care if you're watching movies that's why it's important for you to to, to like really think about the things that you watch and really think about what you say and what you hear. So that's my take on music. Hopefully um, I encourage you guys. Now I know, don't get me wrong. I know that life is hard and as a teenager you want to do your own thing. I get that. But um, just be selective over the music that you listen to. Just like be selective over the, the movies that you watch because what you watch and what you listen to invites spirits into your life and you wonder why this is happening or you wonder why that is happening but did you consider about maybe what the lyrics or what the content of the movie um was that you watched so that's why it's important and and not only as a as as a teenager but i'm pretty sure you have siblings as well and as a child they're going to absorb every little thing that you do that's why me as a father or or, or, or or woman as a mother we have to be we have to be careful about what we watch about what we listen to and even what we say around the younger people um, even around our children or as or, or your siblings or whoever because spirits travel and we don't want to we don't want to set the bad example you shouldn't want to set the bad example either now I know Beyonce, she makes good music and she's on the billboards. I get all that. I get all that. Everybody talking about Kendrick, everybody talking about J. Cole. But what is the real message in their lyrics? Think about that today, y'all. And, and, and don't be afraid to, uh, to stand out in the crowd. Don't be afraid to stand out because God called us to be set apart. God called us to stand out, not fit in but to stand out so just take into consideration about the music that you listen to and about the movies that you watch
and just just develop a uh, a relationship with Christ so he can show you how to discern what he wants you to listen to, what he wants you to watch, and so forth. And like, don't get me wrong, I know as a human, I know we're wrapped in, I know that we're wrapped in flesh, and I know that God is Almighty, I know all that. But at some point in time, you have to find balance. Because there, there's good and evil inside of all of us. And the Bible says that even when I want to do good, even when I want to do good, evil is always present. So evil could be in the music that you listen to, evil can be in the scary movies that you watch, or the horror films that you watch, or whatever. It could be even in the TV shows that you watch. So you got to be careful about the music that you listen to, and about the movies and the sitcoms and the TV series that you allow your eyes to watch. So much love, peace, and God bless, and don't give no room to the devil, because if you give him a, a inch he'll make it into something larger and he just wants to come in and wreak havoc in your life in your school in your house in everything that you do so you got to be careful we got to be awake you guys keep your eyes open keep your mind open and just think about the things that you're doing